So we slowly approach the end of our course. In the last three meetings, I would like to present you three important figures to uh, American philosophers, uh, one born in America and seen as the embodiment of American philosophy, John Dewey. He will be the subject of my three brief introductory remarks, and I hope that we will have also a vivid discussion about uh, how we can apply his philosophy also to our modern life. And perhaps uh, some of your questions could be connected with the, uh, the question how far he is still uh, relevant for American culture today if uh, in daily life Americans are applying his principles to the politics, to pop culture, to education and so on. Uh, next week uh, I would like to return, so to say, to Europe and to look closely to extremely uh, important uh, and uh, perhaps for some reasons controversial figure of, of um, German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. Uh, why him? Because uh, I consider him uh, still very relevant uh, in, in Europe but also in the United States and some ideas which we are not connecting directly with him nevertheless had, uh, has uh, roots in his radical criticism of Western culture, of Western heritage. So it is uh, good uh, sometimes to look closer to roots uh, of certain patterns, uh, why we think in certain way, why certain way of approaching reality are popular, relevant, and so on and so on. And I would like to conclude with one of the most uh, uh, dear to me, uh, philosopher, theologian, uh, Abraham Joshua Heschel, who was born in Warsaw, so it's a kind of patriotic uh, uh, feeling connected with uh, he, this figure. But uh, since uh, this course is the history of uh, philosophy in America, uh, what is important that he moved uh, in uh, 39 from Warsaw via UK to United States and there uh, wrote his most uh, significant books uh, in English. So he is part of American heritage. So now uh, let us uh, move to our first uh, representative of American school, of American thought, uh, John Dewey, uh, who is considered as the father of American pragmatism. And in fact, it will be also uh, the question for um, your final test, which is very important for you, and you will have three names, John Dewey, uh, another one will be Aldons Huxley and Mordechai Kaplan, and you have to underline uh, or to, to sign uh, who is the father of American pragmatism, and it is exactly uh, John Dewey. Why uh, tests are making your life more uh, complicated instead of putting only one name, you have to make a choice. Uh, it's also to draw your attention to another figure, which uh, will be not discussed in class because we don't have time. But uh, Aldous Huxley is, uh, I would love to, to dedicate also to him, uh, one of our class. Uh, this is why I simply mentioned him. He was uh, born a little bit later than Dewey at the end of the 19th century. He passed away in uh, uh, some years later uh, than Dewey. But what, what is important uh, that he wrote very influential uh, literary works, 
Brave New World, for example, or Develop Loudin, etc., etc. So you can just en enlarge your knowledge looking at his uh, achievements. And uh, the third, Mordechai Kaplan, is because uh, I don't have time to, to deal with uh, this uh, Jewish thinker who um, reconciled, so to say, American Jews with Americanism or with American culture, who demonstrated uh, how it is possible to be 100% Jews uh, and 100% Americans. So it's very interesting. He wrote a very influential book on uh, Judaism as a civilization, but also a kind of invitation for those who feel a uh, desire to deepen his or her knowledge. Uh, uh, Mordechai Kaplan is, is a very intriguing and fascinating uh, thinker, but he is not, uh, as uh, also Huxley is not a founder of American uh, pragmatism, so please don't sign these names as a representative of this school. So now a few uh, important, perhaps basic notions uh, connected with uh, John Dewey. You will find uh, two of his uh, most uh, perhaps representatives, representative books uh, on our platform. Uh, you, can, you can see, you can read how much you can. One is um, both are connected with education. Uh, education and democracy, so relationship between democracy and uh, education, the process of education, how uh, citizens are socialized, how they are introduced in, uh, in democracy, how they are educated to be per full participants of democracy. And uh, I think this is worth it to, to return to Dewey um, principles, indications, uh, uh, very progressive in his time. And the second, which I will present uh, more closely in the second uh, introductory remarks, is his um, one of the latest, but very concise, and for this reason also good to start to read it, education and experience in which he connects uh, uh, educational process with the need to to experience to, to to touch so to say reality that you are not only passive recipient of uh, new notions you new uh, data uh, but you are really actively participating in it and i have to admit that this is my ideal also how i uh, understand the process of education. So this is what what you can deepen uh, having a look uh, in uh, um, on, on these two books. Uh, but now, why why this noble title, the father of pragmatism? He uh, did not invent it. Uh, uh, this term it was uh, someone else. Uh, uh, purse, uh, but perhaps uh, this is not so important. Uh, what is important that he is considered as a as a father of American uh, pragmatism, and all his life he spent in in writing, uh, teaching, uh, traveling, and promoting this new model of of education. So he was a reformer. Of, of education and he was very influential in his time as a teacher, as the author of more than 40 books, hundreds of articles. And if you look uh, in our library booth, you will find a shelf uh, full of his uh, books. So uh, all are um, printed, you can consult them, you can see uh, really is, is worth it to, 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 to enter in, in his, in his uh, world. Um, Dewey is one of the primary figures associated with philosophy of pragmatism and is considered one of the founders of functional uh, psychology. 
So um, psychology is uh, uh, very, again, practical uh, science. He uh, was also a very well-known public figure. Uh, he was living uh, almost 100 years. He was born in 1859 and he passed away 1952. And uh, during this long life span, he was a um, major voice of progressive education and liberalism. Uh, few words where he was teaching. Uh, he started to, to teach, to write uh, in Chicago in uh, 19, uh, 1894. He uh, joined the University of Chicago, where he spent uh, ten, 10 years. And uh, at the end of the 19th century, he moved uh, uh, to Columbia University, to, to New York, where he uh, taught till 1930, until his um, retirement. But he was uh, retired, but very busy in his retirement. There are many uh, uh, teachers, uh, intellectuals, who never stopped to, to be uh, present in the public sphere. Uh, one of uh, close to 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 me. Uh, I mean, I, I was a friend of him, and I appreciated him very much. Uh, Zygmunt Bauman, who was uh, telling me, Stashek, you will see when you uh, finally will be retired, you will uh, uh, start to work uh, really fully. Because when you are busy in all this demo bureaucracy, you cannot work uh, fully as you wish. So it's very interesting. So in any way, uh, he was really active all his life. Uh, again, one of uh, the most important books uh, of this 40, which I mentioned, is the Democracy and Education, uh, published already when he was teaching in Columbia University, 1916. He also, also wrote a book about religion, which is also, as you already know, a very important dimension of American uh, humanities is A Common Faith. Uh, it was one of his latest book in 1934. And uh, education uh, as, um, as experience one, um, it was one uh, of his latest book uh, published in 1938. And as I mentioned, I will close. I will look closely this uh, last book uh, in the second film. But you already could have a uh, picture of a teacher, of an intellectual who was very um, aware of a need to reform uh, a system which he um, uh, knew as a, as a pupil, as a student, and as a, as a teacher after. So when you are immersed in, in a certain educational system and you feel that uh, not everything is working well, is a very good departure point for, to reform it. To, to make it better. So uh, when you feel that some elements, and perhaps in our discussion we will come to these points, are not uh, uh, really expecting uh, or not responding to your ex expectations, please uh, note it and, and discuss it. Perhaps you can uh, make a, a educational process better than it, than it is uh, now. So he was very focused on uh, individual. You will see how important it was, uh, he, he, uh, for him it was to, to see uh, talents, uh, uh, fascination of each person. And 
only in this way you can really progress when you know yourself and it will be the subject of, of uh, my next uh, film.